Yo guys, what's going on and welcome back to another video. Today I'm back with episode number 4 of training for AOR. Last time out we had a second go at taking off the racing line and it went pretty well. I think we won the race. It's been a while since I've actually recorded this, but I think we won the race. But this time out I'm going to be taking off manual gears. No, no I'm not. But this time out, I'm going to be taking off automatic gears. It's going to be a lot more difficult. Obviously, we're going to go to Germany, as always. We're going to be driving in the Red Bull of... I uh, don't really care who I drive for. It's a go for Ricardo. Five lap race. Short qualifying. And manual gears. I'm going to have it suggested because if I have it full manual, it will not go well. Thinking about it, I may actually want to turn up my TV sound otherwise. I will not be shifting up. I'm actually going to set a run on a soft tyre just to try and get used to the track. Uh, it won't be, well, I hope, hopefully it won't be my fastest lap time. But we'll just do one lap, maybe two, just to try and get used to the track, try and get used to the gears. Ah, oh, this could go horribly. I mean, it's, it's, not, it's not the most difficult track for manual gears, it's not the most complex, but... Manual gears is manual gears. We go purple sector one, so we're keeping our pace in sector one as we have done throughout this entire series. Oh, turn it in too early. That's going to cost us quite a bit of time. This is definitely not as hard as I thought it would be. We've, we've had some mistakes, but overall, it's not been too bad a lap for the first lap. Coming up to the line, and we set a 119.4. We, we beat someone. So we're, we're, we're well off pole position, but we're beating someone. Okay, round the corner for the second lap. We go three times faster. 119.1. This isn't as hard as I thought. We're two seconds off the pace on the slower tyre. This isn't going too bad. My problem isn't actually the gears. It's turning in at the right time. It sounds weird, but that's just what I'm struggling with. But we're beating Ericsson. We're beating Bearline, Harry Anto, Palmer. So we're beating pretty much all the backmarkers that are set at time on the slower tyre. Let's go out on the faster tyre and see what we can do then. I reckon, I reckon top 10 is possible. I feel confident top 10 is definitely possible. Right, I might go silent this time. Just try and focus. I don't care what Max is, I'm trying to listen to the fucking gear, shut up! Okay, coming up to the line, we set a 118-0, puts us 8. Lose out to, for to the force of Perez, beating Alonso. Again, there were mistakes. But we went purple sector 1, so we're not, s well, I wouldn't say we're slow. We actually went purple in sector 3 by quite a lot. So sector 2, once again, just like every episode of the series, Sector 2 is where we're losing all our time. Maybe if my race engineer stopped telling me where my teammate was, I reckon I could do better, but... Four minutes remaining, one set of tyres left, let's go out for our final run, see if we can improve in that Sector 2. Okay, come up to the line for our final lap. A 117.6 puts our seventh. That is going to be our final lap, our fast lap, 17.6. It's decent, about eight temps off pole. It's just that sector three we're losing time, but let's retire. Where do we qualify for the race? Do we get in the top 10? And we qualify in, does that say P8? Yes, it does. We qualify in P8. I'm quite happy with that. With manual gears, I'm happy with that. It's definitely going to be difficult commentating and doing manual gears, but I'm going to try my best. 
Hopefully we can make it through the first couple corners. But I feel confident. I feel confident about this one. Alright then. I'm going to need to remember to actually shift up when I start. Because that's something I definitely would forget. But starting at P8. Let's go. We have three lights. Four lights. Five lights. Lights out and away we go. And our start is looking shit. Just as I thought. Come around turn one. And we are already down to ninth place. Well that was fucking dreadful. Can we dive bomb Massa? We've got a Tauros on our inside. But well, I think we've got past Massa. It's really difficult to commentate and do the gears. But end of sector one we're in eighth place. We haven't lost any positions. But that style was absolutely dreadful. Dive bombing. Vettel and Alonso. We're actually going down to first gear, which I didn't want to do. Can we get a lot? No. Okay, we're not good at getting traction out of corners. We've got Vettel on her inside, leaving room. Can we take her on the outside? There's a little bit of contact. But we do get... It's Raikkonen. After all that time, it's Raikkonen. I'm an idiot. Good. We're very quick in sector three, right into the back of Alonso. Come on, she needs to get some consistency. Oh, I keep doing that. I keep shifting up into 8th out, out of turn 1. I am not good at getting out of the... I, I, I just cannot get traction out of corners, can I? Is it the way I'm shifting? Or is it... Am I shifting too early? Am I shifting too late? I'm not even sure. We're very good in Sector 3. We get a fantastic exit there. Can we go any the outside at the penultimate corner? No, we can't. We get him on the cutback. There's a little bit of contact, but we get back him in the seventh place. DRS is Don't shift up. That's good. DRS on Alonso. Brilliant run. Shifting up into eighth, and we get past Alonso down to turn two. Shifting too many times down, but we get up into sixth place. Okay. Yeah, I'm not good on the straight. Probably one of the easiest bits, but I'm not good on the straight. I don't know. I, I honestly don't know if I'm shifting too late or not. I don't think I am. Right, can have a look up the inside of the sector of three. That's a stupid. Yep, that's that. Brilliant move. Brilliant move, Raikkonen. Brilliant move. Fucking genius. We go up the inside. We're going to have to go aggressive now since he's doing it. Going down the second. See, I can get, I can get into the fight, so I just lose track of what gear I'm in. How the fuck has he got that good an exit? What am I doing wrong? I don't want to lose seventh. I don't want to lose seventh. Two laps, to, well, one and a half laps to go. We can get a brilliant run out of this corner. All race. Can we do it again? Yes, we can. Can we go up as inside to the penultimate corner? We're going to go for it. Down the second again. I keep going down the second there. We need to stay in fourth. Side by side for the final corner. Can we get a good run? Oh, no, we can't. Inside line for turn one, and he yields. We get back in, up into 7th place. Okay, gap ahead is 5.6 seconds. Jeff, there's one sector to go. I don't give a fuck. Ah, uh, the final corner. We are going to finish in P7. We got one position from where we started, Good but... Job, did really well. I don't know, maybe if I didn't do live comp, I could have done a bit better, but I'm happy with that. I didn't drop out the points, Brilliant so... I'm happy with that. I mean, we were quite a bit off the pace based on fastest laps, but we take seventh with manual gears. Definitely not as hard as I thought it would be. But that is going to be it for this video, guys. If you did enjoy my smash like button and subscribe if you're new here, next time out, I will be taking off ABS and traction control, doing it together. And uh, those are the two assists I haven't actually gotten the points with, so that could be a very interesting race. So you've got ABS and traction control to turn off next time and then after that i think we just need to turn off all of them yeah not really looking forward to that but thank you guys for watching and see ya